Hi everyone, happy first day of an epic year ahead. And I know, every year's been an epic year. <laughs> but this is really going to be um, an epic year in many, many ways. And in this short impromptu video, I just want to share some energetics about January that have um, been coming through in visions, in dreams, and you know, with my spidey senses the last couple days. So I thought to share them with the group. And um, before I share them, I'll um, let you all know that I first met 2020 Energetics at the end of August. And at that point, there was a message that came through. So my 2020 message is a channeled message that I will be posting in the group that you're welcome to read if you feel called. And um, today until January 11th, I will be having a sale on one-on-one -on -one sessions. They're an hour and 45 minutes long and it's a connection with your dimensionality energetically in conversation um, with your ancestral energetics, all of your wisdom and information in supporting whatever dynamic um, is most currently up for you or that you're intending to either get information from or shift the energetics. And as well, there is an embodiment activation that came through. There's a short one minute frequency that I channeled during my, the beginning of my activation um, that I was asked to channel into that one minute frequency. And so if that one minute frequency um, is aligned, feels good, you're interested in more, the following evening at 3 a.m., a I actually don't know how long it is. I haven't looked, but a more conscious and more active um, 2020 embodiment healing came through. And I'll also be posting that. And specifically, um, a lot happened in that, I don't know, hour. Um, I think it's 45 minutes. And the specific um, healings and activations are red blood cell and circulation, a detoxification healing with uh, ancestral DNA, um, memory and specifically like ancient memory in your bone marrow matrix um, healing activation, a pineal gland third eye clearing activation, a red vitality um, healing activation, a physical density calibration, an ambered embodiment healing, specifically from the Buddhist lineages, and um, a Buddhist pearl of embodied wisdom healing activation, and last but not least, a self-love and self-compassion blessing. So I will also post the link to that. Um, I was specifically told that it would be very beneficial for the next two years. So that's just a resource that came through um, to support all of us as we shift um, the four major pillars of knowing ourselves, our relationship to the all of life around us, and especially um, with finances and with health this next year. Which brings me to January. Um, the three main words that came through with January are perspective, perseverance, and patience. And what I wanted to say about um, these main energetics within all the other energetics that are happening is um, I wanted to talk about two things real quickly. One is perspective which has to do with intuition. Um, you know, perspective is long-term understanding, big picture. And with intuition, my personal information is that intuition is a long, long game plan. Um, our intuition, our body information, a lot of our soul, um, directives and even with our allies and the guidance that we receive is directing us towards an experience that may not be the kid in the candy store, you know, may not taste good immediately, it may not feel good immediately, and um, 
it's really to move us into an experience that is going to be beneficial in birthing our elder selves, whether that's who you are embodying in three years or in 30 years. It's a very long-term game plan. So I, w I just wanted to speak about that so that you don't doubt yourself as we move through um, life and with your intuition. You know, if you go into a not feel good experience, don't be like, ah, you know, my intuition was wrong. Don't diminish the information that you receive because it wasn't um, an immediate gratification. So that's what I want to say about perspective and perseverance and patience. Oh, I already forgot the other thing. Hold on a second. I knew I should have written it down. Um, maybe it'll come back to me. And so um, with the energetics of January, imagine two things. The first thing is, you know how people take um, time-lapse pictures of you know their kids or themselves. They take a picture every month or every year and then they combine it all and show the dr dramatic changes within a short span. Um, that's the energy of January. It's going to be a lot of accelerated um, changes and shifts energetically, physically, mentally, in foundational ways um, within us, around us, our actions. And um, that's part of the perspective to know that and help you get through it, hopefully. And the other thing was, um, I was shown very strongly that this month, this experience that we're in and we're going to be moving through is very much like being um, in a sweat lodge or in a 30-day spa or a 30-day detox intensive. Um, it's a very potent physical, um, energetic, which also is very emotional, um, accelerated um, shift and change. And so if any of you have had any experiences with um, like a, a hot sauna um, or, you know, even a long fast, any anything where you're really accelerating your body's physical, energetic changes, um, you know a lot comes up because it's really, there's, there's no hanging out, there's no downtime, um, it's just a really accelerated movement. And, you know, my experiences with Sweat Lodge, and especially I wanted to talk about that because when you're in, you know, a 30-day ritual, no matter what it is, um, any action in that ritual is heightened, is, you know, quadruple blessed. And this is that time we're being very supported by the planetary, planetary alignments, very supported by ancestral factors, karmic energies, um, our spirit guides, just the all of dimensionality is really um, active. Um, especially this month. And so anything that you focus on, that you effort towards, whether it's finances, your health, your relationships, um, it's gonna produce an outcome that is tenfold compared to if you did it last year or if you do it you know, sometime later. It's just right now, wherever you focus your energetics, um, it's gonna be tenfold um, accelerated blessed outcomes and um, it's a very auspicious time so use your energy very wisely um, really use intention and presence and um, know that this is a potent time to be utilized and the other thing I want to talk about is um, I'm saying a lot of ums because I'm tired I'm sorry if you feel like you're getting cooked at all this month, I'd like you to think about an ember. And when we 
start fires um, in the old old way, the traditional way, where you're you're blowing on a nest to get that one spark to uh, gain enough strength and gain enough heat to be able to spread out to that rest of that nest. And then that nest is placed um, in a place where it can heat and gather and create the actual fire. And so right now is a big ember time and we're the embers and actually everything in existence is the ember right now. All of um, landscapes, physical structures, what people think are inanimate objects, um, everything right now is being blown on. That's how you get the ember going, is, is being blown on by all of dimensionality um, in a very strong way. And it's for us. It's for our vitality. It's for the vitality of existence. So when you feel like you're getting cooked, remember that you are a beautiful, vital piece of ember, breathing vitality and um, that you're being blown on in very auspicious, even though it doesn't feel good ways, by dimensionality, by your angel guides, your spirit guides, by your ancestors. The ancestors have been very strong. Um, they're energetic um, influence on our lives and the information coming through has been very strong this last month, um, actually the last two months, and it's still a very strong ancestral time. So remember, you're not getting cooked, you're getting blown on by spirit towards um, the birthing of your greater her vitality. And um, that brings me to water. Uh, the information I've been getting the last two or three days in my dreams, and I mean, it's just been coming left and right, is that, you know, during this embered month, during this sauna sweat lodge month, that water is uh, pretty much, I've been shown physically, is our main healing ally. And I'm not talking about just drinking regular water, I'm talking about vitalized water, structured water, blessed water. And that's a whole, that could be a one day course. And so I'll probably create a very short video in the next couple days um, to help, you know, bring that in people's awareness. And they're very, it's very easy to make structured water. And um, hopefully in the next 30 days this month, you can experiment with the different ways of making structured water, see what works for your life. And it takes less than five minutes a day. And it's going to infuse our bodies with the information um, that they need to help um, really support us in this hugely transformational time. And the last two things I want to share quickly is one, I was shown that the J months, January, July, and June and July um, have a higher um, seismic quality to them. So for those of us that live in earthquake country or earthquake lands, um, just, you know, be smart. Have some water on hand, have some non-perishable foods, know, you know, where your water and gas cutoff is, know your neighbors, um, and just know that that's part of our landscape um, and the earth acclimating um, to um, this new energetic and embodying it better. So that's the tidbit. And with sleep, sleep may not be our best friends this month. Um, enjoy it. Um, but most importantly, if you don't get a lot of sleep, I really want to encourage you to remove that mindset that, oh, I didn't get enough sleep, I'm going to have a bad day. Or, oh, I didn't get enough sleep, I'm going to be tired. Or, you know, whatever that negative thought that is very attached to a certain amount of hours of sleep equals health or goodness or vitality. Sleep is very important. I love it. Don't get enough of it. And when I do, I appreciate it. But we are very vital beings and we have access to energy multidimensionally from source 
to pull and grab at at any time. And so, you know, really someone could not sleep for 30 days and have access to um, other energetics that will feed their body. Um, you know, just like we can be fine without eating for a week or without drinking for some time. And so if you don't get a lot of sleep, don't worry about it. It's very active time. Self-care is, you know, the number one plan. Just know that don't expend a lot of energy. Don't do that two-hour aerobics thing um, just because that's your pattern. Um, just um, don't freak out and just know, okay, that's just part of the energetics. I'm not doing anything wrong. And try to utilize that time instead of thinking that you're not asleep. Meditate, listen to a sound, healing, um, journal, do an art piece, you know, whatever is soothing to your nervous system, whatever is really connecting you to yourself or the vitality of life in another way. So not time wasted, never is. And whew, I think I said it all in that quick bit because I know um, there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of life to live on this first day of January. And I just feel very, very blessed um, to be in your company and excited for the adventures ahead. And we will see. And <clears throat> and I just feel a lot, a lot of love. Like, we're being so loved up in very deep ways. Um, so I think that's the last thing that's coming through is when you're being stretched, when life around you is being stretched, to really remember that this is life loving us as deeply as possible um, now and in the future and at all times. And if you can connect to that love in your heart um, or do anything that reminds you of it if you're at a place where you can't connect, because sometimes we can't, um, just really focus on that you're being blessed. We're all being blessed. So feeling blessed to be blessed in your company, sharing this moment with you on this first day of January. All right, be well.